Welcome to PharmaCam Insights. Today's topic is interview question and answers on HPLC part 2. So let's get started. First question Why to degas the mobile face in HPLC? It is necessary to degas the mobile face in HPLC because it removes dissolved gases that can interfere during analysis. Move on to next question. What do you mean by chromatographic condition in HPLC analysis? So answer to that, chromatographic condition is HPLC method. It consists of the following parameters like type of column, the column which we use during analysis, flow rate, injection volume, wavelength, column temperature, auto sample temperature, runtime, and illusion mode, whether it's an isocratic or gradient. Next question. What is mobile phase in HPLC? Mobile phase is the liquid that moves the solute through the column. Next question. What is stationary phase in HPLC? Stationary phase is the packing material of column that interacts with the solute but does not move with the mobile phase. How HPLC separates component in a mixture? So components in a mixture are separated due to the differential interaction of components with the stationary phase and mobile phase. The components move at different rates in the column. Therefore, separation can be done. Greater the interaction, your peak will elute late and weaker the interaction, your peak will elute early. What is the significance of a detector wavelength in HPLC? So, detector wavelength is chosen based on the absorption maxima of the analyte. Next question. What is the role of guard column in HPLC? So, guard column protects the analytical column from contamination and extends its lifespan. What is the purpose of a detector in HPLC? Detectors, it detects and quantifies separated component from the eluent. Why is gradient elution used in HPLC? Gradient elution is used to improve separation by changing the solvent composition during analysis. Next question. How does temperature affect HPLC separation? Temperature can influence analyte retention time and also resolution between two components. What is column equilibration in HPLC? Column equilibration ensures that column is in stable and reproducible state before sample injection. What is the particle size of HPLC column? So particle size of HPLC column is generally between 3 to 5 micrometers. What are polar and non-polar compounds? So answer to that, polar compounds have positive and negative charges on their molecule. Example water, water has H plus and OH minus positive and negative charges. And non-polar compounds don't have separation of charges within their molecules. Example hexane. Next question. What is system suitability in HPLC? So system suitability ensures that the chromatographic system is suitable for the intended analysis by checking parameters like resolution and peak symmetry. That is tailing factor. Next question. What is the significance of cutoff wavelength in UV detection for HPLC. So, cutoff wavelength is the shortest wavelength at which the compound can be detected. Next question What are the pre analysis check in HPLC? These are the following pre analysis check you have to do before starting the analysis. First is filter the mobile phase. Second is wait for the mobile phase to reach room temperature. Third is purge all the flow lines to remove air bubbles. Fourth is check for leaks in system. 
Fifth is check the pump pressure. Sixth is perform a baseline check. Next question, what are the possible reasons when there is no peak eluted in HPLC? If there is no peak eluted in HPLC, you can check for the following reasons. First is incorrect mobile phase and sample. Second is pump is not working properly. Third is there may be leak in the system. Fourth is detector lamp may be off. Fifth is sample is too diluted. Sixth is injection volume is too small. Seventh is column retains all compounds. Next question. What are the advantages of PDA detector in HPLC? PDA detector can analyze samples simultaneously at many different wavelengths. PDA detector are also useful for checking peak purity. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my videos so I will get motivated to create more videos of this kind. Bye.